Hello. I'm going to show you exactly how I make my my siding out of pallets. I do it the rough way. Chainsaw. I'm going to cut the insides of this. It's kind of small. I usually use the bigger pallets. This one's small. Then I'm going to try to pull it off with the nails on. We'll cut the nails off later. Get this part done. And I'll go on up. We'll do a little speed drill here and see how many I can get done. There's gonna be some noise because of the chainsaw. Some of these are broken, like these skinny ones. I used to fill in on the edges and the ends, if, if they're straight enough that they work. This pallet is not in the greatest shape. It's got some age on it, kind of like me. I think we're both rotten in the same spots. Yeah, I'll just turn it around and Try to get as much as I can out of the back side. Uh, this one I'm going to say no. It's been on the ground. And you can see damage. That one's no good. They're all no good. So this one will just end up getting burned. We have a burn pile that we create. I get another one. doctor's visit yesterday I've got a spinal disease that I'm fighting have been I've already had two surgeries and one on my neck one on my back I've broke my back twice but my spine is basically collapsing got a doctor's visit yesterday and 
it's not looking good but I'm gonna keep going as much as I can until I can't anymore I have a lot of lower leg pain due from injury to the back or the hips it may have gone into my hips now that makes walking difficult bending over is really difficult but I'm a fighter I don't give up I keep on going the doctor asked me if I was a candidate for surgery I said oh yes I've already had two they were very successful loved the doctor the surgeries were great helped me a lot so yeah I don't mind having another surgery now this board I'm going to cut here and there I'm not peeling this off because they're already long enough I'm going to do that I have four cups on each one the back side looks like another one may have been close to the ground I'll have to see that make sure it's not rotten here we go with the noise again in the background he's digging a ditch we got our new valve for the water tank i plan on showing you didn't know it was that easy to order amazon had them i only had two or three to choose from that would actually work took a chance got it it works we've got the conversion nipple we went to lowe's it's already hooked up up on the hill ready to accept water i plan on going up there and just taking a short picture and posting that with this but you can hear him he's actually swinging the ditch we had already buried swinging it a little bit to the right to get it up underneath the portion of the house so we can put an outside spigot the spigot for two different reasons of course outside water but also it helps to bleed the line because from there it goes uphill and it got air and it won't go uphill so we have to bleed the line somewhere and that would be a perfect spot I'm not sure Good it on the back of this. Nope, it's another burnable. It's been laying on the ground, as you can see. There's grass clippings. Well, I pulled that right off. 
There's another burn. Get, get another pop. This is a piece of one. Looks like I've already cut on. We'll finish cutting that off. Ah, that's hard to pick up with my back. Probably shouldn't be bending over. I tell my grandson Sambo. I'm a fighter, not a quitter. It's got to be turned off. Ah, no, it broke. I have to look at some of these. We get ready to put them on. Make sure they don't have too much age. More back there, but I'll pick those up with the other. You can see two small pallets, just the face of them. We got a pretty good size stack going already. Oh, <laughs> yeah. these out so I can get full length 
They're a little on the short side of them, has me worried. These back ones sometimes work and sometimes they spread out because they're, they're wide. They like to crack. So the rest of this I'm gonna set aside for another day. Does not go in the burn pile. That goes in the usable pile. You can see what kind of work it takes for a younger person. They could probably already zipped off. I've got a pile here, not very big. I probably have like five more pallets. Uh, two of them's pretty old. One of them's got short wood in it. Don't know if we'll use that one. But you can see how we do this. I just zip them off the chain. So a lot of people say, no, don't do that. That leaves a rough edge. To me, it just adds to the atmosphere of the rough siding, the, the original shake. The original shakes, if I can find one here, they used to take a thick board, they'd actually shave it down to about this thickness, and on this side it would be three quarters of an inch to an inch. So it was wedged. So they stuck that wedge so the other board wouldn't stick out so far. Well, it'd take a lot for me to do that. So I don't do that. I think these are just fine. Um, they still look good. I haven't seen, uh, my head's not even in the video. I haven't seen another one done like this. Everything is store-bought, used. Never, never from a pallet that I've seen. So this is something different. Anybody can do it if they want to add a little texture to their house. I have it over top of that little barn. I still have that to finish, but that's, that's no big deal. I want to put it on this shed right here. This is a bot shed, completely the wrong color. But I'd like to put the siding on the back and the shingles on the top. I think that would look sharp on the, the gable sides. But this video is pretty much just showed you how I do it. Hey, can I kidnap you for a minute? The next video will probably be putting some of this wood on the siding and after this I'm going to also show you a picture of the water tank cookup so remember please give me a like that's important like subscribe all that good stuff and thank you for watching or off gritter Don't I'm, gonna the say, bell icon. I'm gonna say goodbye for now